Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is episode 2. Follow me to the village and grab the vintage compass. Let's keep our distance and shoot the lock off the door. When the tower falls, quickly run into the cabin to avoid the dogs. What? Use the trap to kill the lady and the window to avoid the enemy outside. After that, grab the viper from the crate. Get the velvet blue and first aid spray. Stealth kill the enemy and destroy both gravestone emblems to complete another merchant request. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Good stuff, mate. <sighs> a church. I made it. Find the next typewriter and save in slot 20. Condor one to roost. The church. We can kill all the enemies in the next area, or we can just run to stay safe. If we wait for the enemy on the lower level to climb the ladder, 
there's a chance the two enemies in the tunnel won't spawn. Kill the dogs, then shoot the treasure in the medallion. Get hexagon piece A and save in slot 20. Go outside and shoot the medallion under the dock. Follow my path exactly to minimize damage. We'll come back later for treasures and the merchant request. Our goal is to get the gas can so we can use the boat. Adjust your inventory, make sure you've completed three merchant requests, and check challenges.
Frugalist, minimalist, and silent stranger should be zero. Gun fanatic should be at least six of 29. Jack of all trades, zero. Revolution wind up, two. Bandit, 15 of 39. Burglar and raider should both be zero. This boss has exactly 1,261 HP, plus it regenerates a portion of its health every time it dives under our boat. You'll know when this happens because our boat will come to a stop and the boss will charge directly at us. I'll link a video down below in my pinned comment so you can see exactly how this boss regenerates HP. We have an infinite amount of harpoons to kill the boss. Aim with L1 and throw with R2. It's also possible to aim and throw exclusively with L1 by holding and releasing the button. We deal 60 damage with normal attacks, but if we can hit the boss in the mouth, we do 100. This boss is on a pattern which makes the fight highly predictable. A few things to keep in mind. Number one, move right or left when it drags us to the edge of the lake to avoid its jumping attack. Number two, this fight doesn't have checkpoints, so we'll have to start from scratch if our boat gets destroyed. Moving in the same direction as the boss will usually keep us safe from floating debris, but not always, so be prepared to make adjustments. Think you can swallow me whole, huh? Aim directly for the mouth when it charges at us to bypass the quick time event. We can hold the X button to complete the quick time event, but our boat will take damage in the process. Aggressive play mixed with accuracy is the key to winning this fight. Set up a save in slot 4. Follow the path and get the old Way Shrine key. Ah. 
What is this place? Some kind of shrine. Backtrack to the previous area and get the treasure. All we have to do is drop into the village and follow the right wall. As long as our right shoulder stays against that wall, it'll lead us directly to the treasure. Go around the corner and shoot the medallion. <clears throat> Jump down to find another medallion in hexagon piece B. Look around the area for two vipers. It may take a few seconds for them to appear. <clears throat> Grab the small key from the drawer. Destroy the medallion in the shed to complete the merchant request. Go back to the merchant area and save in slot 20. Took care of her request, did ya? Ha! <laughs> I 
can tell by the look on your face. Take the boat to the dock around the corner. Follow the left wall to the ladder and complete the puzzle to get the apostate's head. Shoot the treasure, drop down for the yellow herb, and get the velvet blue on your way out. Use the boat to find two more treasures. Go to the dock across the lake to find three more treasures.
go around the corner and climb the ladder. This will give us access to a small key, collectible, and a green herb. Loot the ship for another treasure in the Red Nine. The Red Nine takes longer to focus but deals slightly more damage than our standard handgun. It's great for conserving ammo plus it's classified as a handgun so it won't void the trophy. Follow the tunnel under the castle and get the blasphemer's head. Get the last hexagon piece and the ruby. After that, follow me to the nearby dock. Grab the velvet blue and the golden egg. Kill the Lunker Bass to complete another merchant request.
place both heads in the altar to get the church insignia. Same mark from the church. Get both collectibles on the way back to the merchant area. Gondor Wonder Roos. I found the key to the... Go outside and place all the hexagon pieces in the contraption. Press X to rotate the following pivot points one time in the correct order. Bottom left and top. Expect to get the depraved idol. Grab the yellow herb and kitchen knife from the nearby building. Go back to the merchant area and follow the path to get the butterfly lamp. Backtrack to the merchant area and save in slot 20. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? Talk to the merchant to pop a trophy called Nice One Stranger. This will also give us credit toward the Jack of All Trades well, challenge. Don't worry about voiding the Silent Stranger trophy because we'll fix that in a second. Well, look at you, mate. I got something new for you. Sell the gold chicken egg. Lunker Bass and three Vipers to get credit for three more requests. 
Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. You're a real professional. <laughs> nice work. Well then, what can I do you for? Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Notice how the counter reads one since we just spoke to the merchant. At this point, we've officially voided that trophy. But if you check the Jack of all trades challenge, we're sitting at seven of 19. That's because we just officially got credit for turning in seven merchant requests. Let's load save slot 20 and fix the silent stranger challenge. Notice how the Silent Stranger challenge has been reset to zero. This is because we saved before we spoke to the merchant. This puts the Silent Stranger trophy back in play. Now let's take a look at the Jack of All Trades challenge. We still have credit for seven requests because challenges are locked to our profile, not our save file. This means we can turn in merchant request without voiding any trophies as long as we save first. Since we haven't technically spoken to the merchant yet, the Lunker Bass, Vipers, and Gold Chicken Egg are still in our inventory. Discard these items to free up space. Go directly to the cabin on the left in the boss arena for more handgun ammo and a green herb. Stay behind his right leg and stab him with the knife, but don't get greedy. If we're out of position when he moves, we could take damage. The safe play is to stab him five to eight times, wait for him to move, and then repeat. Keep this up until he screams. Too? Shoot his weak point until he falls to the ground. This will give us a chance to do major damage with the knife or red knife.
God damn. When the fight is over, loot the other cabin for more handgun ammo, two okay. herbs, and a kitchen knife. Let's get to that church. There's more handgun ammo past the gate. Backtrack to the church, get the blue dial, small key, and flip the switch on the wall. Ashley Graham, I'm here to help. The trick to this puzzle is to isolate one piece for each color starting from left to right. Grab the green herb and climb the ladder around the corner. Adjust your inventory and make sure all your challenges match mine. You in there? Frugalist, minimalist, and silent stranger should be zero. Gun Fanatic should be at least 7 of 29. Jack of all trades, 7 of 19. Revolution Windup, 4 of 16. Bandit, 29 of 39. Burglar and Raider should both be zero. Complete the chapter and save in slot 5. Remember, the only way that I can keep making guides is with your financial support. Click the links at the end of the video or in my pinned comment if you'd like to help. For those of you supporting me already, I greatly appreciate it. 
My name is Exonovan, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good.